No team other than the top three has picked up more points in the Premier League than Chelsea since Christmas. And as a Manchester United fan, I'm scared that Chelsea are starting to sort their mess out and are probably going to finish above us this season. If they win their game in hand, they're comfortably above us on goal difference. It's a bit worrying as a Man United fan because Newcastle above us, Chelsea are above us. But you know what? There's one big reason behind Chelsea and that is Cole Palmer. We're going to talk about him, how good he's been. I remember when Chelsea signed him, I thought, man, City getting 40 million for a guy that's not scored a goal for them. I thought, maybe Chelsea are overpaying. And Chelsea have overpaid for a lot of players, we know that. I knew how good he was in the academy, I knew of his talent, but I thought, this is a risk from Chelsea. But he has been the Premier League signing of the season. He's arguably been the player of the season and he could win the Golden Boot. 20 Premier League goals. And people will say, oh, he scores penalties. Oh, he scores penalties. Three of his goals weren't penalties today. He scored a perfect hat-trick. Left foot, right foot header. He gets assists. He creates the most chances. I mean, I remember the game they drew to Burnley. It was unbelievable. Creating chances. And he had five, six key passes. I'm watching this as a Man United fan thinking, Cole Palmer is a world-class player. He generally is world-class this season. 24 goals in all competitions, 11 in the last six games, 29 goal contributions in the Premier League this season in a Chelsea side that is underperforming, clearly has some player mentality issues, and we will talk about the penalty incident. But to go from Manchester City, where you've you've got the safety net at Manchester City, world-class players around you, the stability, you know, I think, you know, it showed a lot about Cole Palmer's mentality. Going to a Chelsea which fell off last season, where so many players have joined Chelsea and flopped. And it's a difficult environment. And, you know, Sterling hasn't been great this season. He's come from City. To be 20, 21 years of age and go to Chelsea in their worst era, where the environment mentality isn't great, under a new manager in a rebuild, where it's unstable, and be this good. And this is why I have so much respect for Cole Palmer. I want him to win the Golden Boot as a rival. It's because he's doing that in a Chelsea side. If you're doing that at Man City, it's great. What Foden's doing is great. But he's doing it at Chelsea, and this is his first proper season of first team football. He's, I just think people don't realise how good that is and how special that is. And I have so much respect for him. I, I really do. As a rival, I think he's people calling him penalty, penalty, penalty. What, what do you want him to do? Miss his penalties. He is, you know, the fourth youngest player to score four goals in the Premier League game, only Robbie Fowler and Michael Owen, sorry, the third youngest player, only Robbie Fowler and Michael Owen have scored four goals younger than him. You know, 20 goal contributions, I don't think they've had that since Diogo, Diogo Costa, Diego Costa, Costa. I mean, Chelsea have been lacking a player for five good years with output. They've got the hazard replacement, but they've also got the output. Not only is he a good player, but he's got the output. And obviously, football's not all about goals and assists. But with Cole Palmer, and this is why I will give, I would defend him when you've got silly Arsenal fans calling him a pen merchant because there's comparisons to Saka now. The reason I'll defend Cole Palmer, even though I have no liking for Chelsea and I wanted you to lose, is because when you watch him on the eye, you know he's a good player. His ability to create space, his ability to look at runners and pick out these passes, and his his te technical ability to execute these unbelievable passes. There's been so many games this season where he's had the ball in the right half space and he's spotted a run and he's technically executed that ball so well. His ability to link up play, his ability to sort of, he's a good dribbler, considering he doesn't have that raw pace that other wingers have, his ability to use skills and manipulate defenders using his body to faint away and get past players and dribble the ball. He's not really known for his dribbling, but it is his a pass-first winger. He is a pass-first winger. He gets the ball, he moves it forward. His link-up play, his understanding of space, creating space, where to run, IQ is brilliant. But he has the technical ability to execute that. And he passes the eye test. He's a fantastic player to watch on the eye. Even when he doesn't goals and assists, he doesn't ghost. He is good. But his output is a monster. You could take away the penalties. He's still got, what, would it be 12 goals this season and, and nine assists? That still would be double figures or if he gets double figures for assists. He's been absolutely brilliant. He's the first player to get a perfect hat-trick since Erling Haaland uh, at the beginning of last season. You know, no penalties to get his hat-trick. Goal assist header. Taken really well, instinct really well. Um, you have to look at it's just general play. Very good. And I think Caicedo had a really good game. I think Gallagher and Caicedo had a really, really good game in the midfield pivot. They look really good together. I think Nicholas Jackson had a really good game, particularly first half, but he ruined it by acting like an absolute knob in the second half. And and that tells you Chelsea's problem. They've won 6 0. And the reason I wanted to wait three, four minutes to talk about five minutes even to talk about the penalty incident is I don't I think the penalty incident's gonna get headlines. When Chelsea have won 6 0, 
had their best game of the season. Caicedo's had a really good game. And I've said this with Caicedo. I've been quite impressed with Caicedo lately. He's not looking like a £100 signing, but he's not been as bad as people make out. I think with Moises Caicedo, because he cost £100 million, he, and he's not looking like a £100 million player, he's been made out to be awful. And he's not been awful. He's been underwhelming for the price tag, but he's not been awful. But he's had good games. And today he had a really, really good game. And I think if he cost £40 million and not £100 million, he wouldn't have been seen as a flop. Um, I think I think it's just the fact the ridiculous price tag because I think his performance today was good. I think it will go under the radar because of the brilliance of Cole Palmer. But I think you know him and and, and Gallagher in that deeper role together looked really really good. They looked really really good. I tell you that now. I think the balance really worked. I think the off the ball worked, and I think you know he covered so much ground. He uses his frame well to you know protect the ball and, and beat off bigger players and he's got that upper core strength and he provides balance and he provides stability and we saw you know the Casado that was brilliant at Brighton we saw the Casado that Chelsea signed today um so yeah I think Casado was good I think Gallagher was good and I have to praise Gallagher for what he did at the penalty incident because we need to talk about that penalty incident I mean it's so embarrassing you're four nil up you're four nil up and you're arguing about a penalty I mean, it's ridiculous. Cole Palmer is your penalty taker. Cole Palmer, I think, won the penalty in the end. Is your penalty taker is the reason you're not in a relegation battle. He's literally carried you this season. Cole Palmer scored every single penalty he's taken this season. He is the designated penalty taker. He's in a golden boot race. And if he scores that penalty, he's joint top. And Madueke and Nicholas Jackson are screaming off, you four know what? The penalty isn't that important. This guy is your main man. This guy's won the penalty, but this guy's your designated penalty taker. So why are you arguing about it? And this isn't the first time this has happened at Chelsea, but we're all sterling. That yeah, is embarrassing from Chelsea. And I praise Gallagher for stepping up for Palmer. And I praise Palmer for pushing off Nicholas Jackson. And even as a rival, I wanted Palmer to score that penalty because I felt, you know, that was really unfair what Madueke and, and Jackson did to him. And that shows the problem at Chelsea. They've got individuals, but they're not a team. And, and some of this comes down to Pochettino. In fact, a lot of that goes down to Pochettino. Pochettino needs to sort that out because it's happened with Sterling. It's happened with Madueke and it's happened with Nicholas Jackson. Madueke, you've been necked this season. Nicholas Jackson did have a good game. But and I think Nicholas Jackson's actually had quite an underrated season. I don't think he's as bad as people make out. And we'll talk about him. But this is your penalty taker. Cole Palmer's your penalty taker. He's not missed a penalty. He's in a Premier League golden boot race. He's the main man of Chelsea. The disrespect from his teammates at 4-0 up as well. You're 6-0, best game of the season, 4-0 up at the time. You, and that's what, that will be the headlines. That will be the headlines, the negativity. And poor, you know, I, I, I think it was embarrassing from Chelsea. Absolutely embarrassing. And, and it just shows the problems, mentality. Poch needs to deal with that. Poch needs to say, Cole Palmer's the penalty taker. You do that again and you'll drop for the next game. Stop acting like Muppets. Stop acting like children. And that showed you where Chelsea's problems were. That showed you 100% where Chelsea's problems were. That shows you their lack of leadership. And well done, Gallagher, for stepping in. And that says that shows Chelsea's problem. Because I think Poch is a good manager. I think Chelsea have the quality. I think Chelsea aren't as far off as they think. And I think they've shown this season they can play good football. They just lack consistency. They need team players. They need to build a team. They need to build a team environment. They need to get the bag eggs in and they need to build around Cole Palmer. That's what Chelsea want because only the top three have got more points than them since Christmas. They'd be fourth if the Premier League started at Christmas right now. They're, they're learning, they're growing, they're on track. Do you know what I mean? And I think F F Cole Palmer, the fact that they were arguing, it's Cole Palmer. That's literally like Anthony pushing Ronaldo off the ball saying, give me a penalty because Ronaldo's already got a hat trick. At Man United, it's ridiculous, absolutely ridiculous. And I have to say, Cole Palmer will obviously be man of the match, but I do think that's the best of St Chelsea play this season. I've not watched all of Chelsea's games this season, but the confidence they were playing with, particularly in that first half, clean sheet, six goals, I think that was Chelsea's best game of the season. I mean, Cole Palmer was obviously insane. You know, he, he you know dealt with himself well, composed himself professionally at the penalty, won the penalty, scored four goals really good link-up play as well. I think Jackson had a very good game, but that won't be spoken about. And Jackson this season, is, I think, has had an underrated season. I think his first half was brilliant. His touch, the finish for the goal was incredible. I think his movement and link-up play was really good. I think Alfie Gilchrist scored his first goal, so fair play to him. Young lad, Chelsea boy. I think Gallagher did a lot. He worked so hard off the ball. I think there was a lot of positives. Obviously, Cole Palmer will steal the show, and I'll show you these statistics on Cole Palmer. It's actually now 29. Uh, but look at that. I mean, look at the company Cole Palmer's in. I think Cole Palmer will be world-class and I think he's exactly what Chelsea need to build. 
around. He's he's the future. And I think, you know, as an England fan, it's exciting. Cole Palmer, Bellingham, Saka, Foden, all of these talents as well. And will, will Southgate give him a sniff? That is that is that is the big question as well. But only you know, the only player, the only other players that scored four goals for Chelsea in a match are Lampard and, and Jimmy Floyd Hasselbank. So Cole Palmer, in one season, has become Chelsea legend. And the funny thing is, when Chelsea signed Cole Palmer, he was probably the one everyone was most sceptical about. Like, why are they spending all this money on Cole Palmer? Why are they doing this? Why are they doing that? They, that was He was probably the one they were most sceptical about. Um, but man, he's been absolutely incredible, hasn't he? And he, he shut down his haters. And I think Man City will be looking at Doku, because I think Doku's very overrated, and thinking, should we have sold him? Should we have sold him? City, City have so many good youth players they don't play. Anyway, please do the like button. Of course, subscribe down below if you're new. Let me know if you want a more analysis type video on Cole Palmer tomorrow. If this video does well, maybe I'll do that if you want to see it. See you next time.